If there's one thing that strikes fear into the heart of a marketer, it's the thought of how much time they're going to have to spend editing after filming some juicy content. You want to brand your video, make it more interesting, add subtitles to social media, and give it some va va vroom naked footage just doesn't have. And you'd be right to think so. But you don't want to spend all day doing this. Luckily, the free editing tools out there that are more basic than paid professional software should enable you to speed up the process because they don't contain the confusing editing features that only act as a distraction. So here's our top five free editing tools right now. If you'd like to learn more, there's another 20 free tools listed in the link below this video. First up, we have a free option with more customization options than Apple's professional Final Cut Pro when it comes to making subtitles. Number one, VSDC. It's free, which is good, but it's only available on Windows, which is not so good. It supports nearly all video formats or codecs too, which putting it simply means if you're shooting on your phone or a DSLR, it'll edit your footage. The free version covers everything you need when it comes to basic editing too. You can line up footage, add text, add B-roll. Oh, B-roll is basically footage you filmed that goes over the narrative, like this that pops up now. You can also do some minor color correction and add some audio effects, but it's best two features the ability to easily edit videos into social media squares and to be able to customize SRT files fonts. So an SRT file is a subtitle file that you can add to a video's host or in editing software. It puts the subtitles to the correct timing of the video as if by magic and it's a serious time saver. There's very little customization available on pro options. In VSDC you can change the font style, color, positioning and basic styling. So you can add a rectangle video to a square and produce good looking framed and subtitled videos like this. The downside is it's pretty slow. If you go for the paid version, they will speed it up for you, but check out the free version first just to see how you get on. You might not find it that slow. Next up, we have an Apple only option to even things up. Then after that, I promise we're only gonna discuss options that work on both systems. Number two, iMovie. This is the platform I myself learned to edit on and it really is pretty incredible. They even edited a feature film called Tarnation on it in 2003 and since then have improved it a bundle. So let's look at the pros. Well, firstly, it's only available on a Mac, which means you own a Mac and that my friend is a pro. The next pro is that the minimal interface allows you to do the basics required in editing very well without too much confusion. You get three layers to your timeline, so you can add music and then add two layers of video, meaning you can jump between A-roll like this to B-roll, which is like this. It's fast too. Some other features it includes is the ability to edit green screen video, add text, sound effects, color correction, and effects. I'd say for the average piece of marketing content, most of these can be ignored though. The drag and drop timeline is something you'll get to grips with fast, and you can even use the software on your iPad or phone. There's also the option to remove green from a green screen, and otherwise known as keying. I would say how well this depends works on how well you've lit the background though. So if you've not done that very well, the Kia won't save you. So the cons of iMovie, well, it gives you the ability to edit 4K video. Now, why is that a con? Well, it's actually good reason when it comes to marketing content. You see, if you're making social media content or even video for YouTube, pretty much nobody is gonna watch it back in 4K. The platforms compress it a bunch anyway. What it will do is slow down your computer a ton, unless you're rocking a top of the line one. It'll mean your files are larger to store, and if you're saving them in the cloud, you'll have to deal with longer upload and download speeds. Sure, it might look nice, but when time is precious and business, it's not worth the hassle. The next con is the lack of ability to edit square videos. And with square videos taking up 78% more screen space on mobile phones, you kind of need them in your marketing mix now. The next con, adding subtitles via an SRT will not auto-sync, so you have to manually adjust the timing, which is just the worst. You'll probably be better off trying to use an external app to help you do this or add an SRT file from somewhere like rev.com onto the platform the video is being used on. Number three, shortcut. This is another high quality free product and it's cross-platform. Yes. Download it and away you go. One pro straight off the bat is you get more tracks to play with than iMovie. I kept adding tracks and it kept taking them. So you have more than you'll ever really need. This means you can work with A-roll, B-roll, more B-roll, more B-roll, graphics and all sorts. Unlike iMovie, you can easily edit video into social media squares and you can use keyframes too. Keyframes are basic animation, so you can move text from one side of the screen to another like that. It might sound simple, but you can do a lot with keyframes. 
as you would hope, the basics are there and they're easy to use. Transitions, text, color grading, and being able to produce branded content works really well. And finally, it has the ability to chroma key, aka remove green backgrounds, as well as a magnetic timeline like you get in Final Cut Pro, although they're not everyone's cup of tea. The cons, well, there's 4K again. Ugh. Stupid 4K. And actually, there's more interface options, which brings a longer learning curve to them if you do choose to use them. We also found it crashed a few times when using it, but it does auto back up, so your content never gets lost. Number four, Adobe Rush. Now something for you phone editors. Rush is a new addition to the Adobe Suite. There is a desktop version you can use too. The interface is simple to use and you can do very basic edits on the free version. You have one main timeline with your footage on. You can add text to this, crop it, change its speed, play with the colors, exposure, contrast, and add transitions. For on the move, simple edits, you don't really need much more than this. The cons, well, it's very basic. So if you're editing non-phone shot footage, you shouldn't really try and use this. Number five, DaVinci Resolve. So I've kept everything simple so far, but let's say you've been using one of the previous examples for a while and you wanna step up your game and not spend a ton of money. This is where DaVinci Resolve comes in. Putting it simply, it's professional software and its features are rich, seriously rich, TV editing kind of rich. People are fleeing Premiere Pro and Final Cut to adopt it, and I can see why. If you have slick footage, you want to do more than add some text, B-roll and transitions, then this has a ton of options. The most amazing feature is it allows multiple people to collaborate on the same projects at the same time. So you could have one person doing the editing and another color grading. So the pros are, it has everything. You won't outgrow it. And the cons, it has everything. <laughs> it's back to the problem I mentioned at the start. Sometimes too much choice is a bad thing. And in marketing, time is precious. So it's often better to keep it simple. If you found that helpful, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to the channel. We release three videos a week to arm business owners, marketers, and influencers to the teeth with content that will help you grow your followings, revenue, and produce slicker content.